Let's chase those ducks. <laughs> oh wow, that did not go to plan. I probably deserve that. Whoops. Yo, what's up, I was at a birthday party last night and there was an 18 year old girl there who was doing textiles So naturally I asked her, what's the future of fashion? That's the topic So her response was customized 3D printed uh, clothing But not clothing in the sense that's like, you know, rigid and really futuristic Just like normal looking clothing that you customize and print out I'm sure you've seen all those 3D printed dresses where they're, they're really rigid, they look terrible They're basically more art pieces than practical clothing But imagine if we get to the point where we can 3D print really flexible, normal, everyday clothing I mean, wouldn't it be cool if there was a 3D printer that could actually print like normal synthetic threads down to that level and actually it somehow automatically weaves them and just creates the entire threading normal clothing on the fly. And it's kind of cool that an 18 year old going into textiles already knows that that's kind of the path. Um, it's funny that fashion designers are now becoming like graphic designers and 3D modelers, so they'll be spending most of their time in CAD. And the next realization from that was that, well, at some point everyone's going to have like their own fashion label. There isn't really like one fashion label anymore because every piece of clothing is customized and personalized just for you. I mean, there must still be like uh, popular, you know, fashion creators creating the 3D models. But imagine if they've like never touched a needle before. They don't know. They've never touched a sewing machine. They're just CAD models. So then, as with all discussions with me, it kind of next level to the next point. Um, I've always wanted to just wear morph suits that kind of change, and so you could just download almost like wearing like a onesie every day that's just like form fitting. So imagine you just wear this like form-fitting uh, kind of morph suit all day um, and pretty much all week. It doesn't need to be washed much because it's using some new nanotech, um, and you can change the, the design and the look on it. It could have like inbuilt heating and inbuilt cooling as well, so you wouldn't need you know jumpers and all this other extra crap. It's just this really thin, lightweight material. You just it'd be, it, you'd feel like you're naked all day essentially. Now imagine this clothing has some type of OLED. Meaning the design and the look of the clothing can change on the fly. Um, so you could do something where you have an app and you kind of like download people's clothing or you like buy it for a dollar, almost like an app store for fashion and clothes. You pull out the app, you, you find the, the fashion you want, you download it, you pay your, your dollar, your two dollars, and suddenly your entire clothing just changes form and changes design. Yeah. Or you could have like automatic and adaptive and reactive clothing. So imagine I'm walking through right now and the clothing is just all like, you know, it's a leopard or something or it's I'm camouflaged into the environment. Or maybe based on geolocation, depending on where I am or depending on who I'm nearby, the clothing changes. Uh, maybe you could have uh, the clothing changed by people around you automatically. I mean, really, fashion is about dressing up to look good to other people. So what if you could do that on the fly? What if uh, you, you, one particular person prefers the color purple and suddenly everyone around them, their clothes change to purple? So that's a pretty cool idea, but we actually next level that again. So imagine if you could get rid of the morph suit and have all those exact same qualities, heating, cooling, and adaptive change inbuilt into your skin. So you might have heard of like e-ink tattoos where people are trying to inject uh, some type of like uh, automatic adaptive pigment into the skin and so the tattoos can change on the fly, a little bit like a Kindle screen. So this is a crazy technology but imagine if we could have nanobots we inject into our system and it just covers our entire skin in these pigments. So we get heating, cooling and we can change the skin tone. If you wanted to be black, brown or albino, like you could just instantly switch that on and you just suddenly your entire skin changes. That could be cool. Or if you wanted like a zebra pattern or a cheetah pattern or a lion pattern or like some type of like animal natural pattern or something more trippy you could do that or your skin could just actually change the looks of it, it kind of looks like you're wearing clothes but you're not and it could change the adaptive light based on who's viewing it so it doesn't look like it's a skin type thing oh shit i totally forgot backtracking a bit to like what's available now uh, google has this project uh project jacquard which is basically creating conductive wires conductive yarn and sewing it into clothing and what that means is you can actually have a uh, touch sensitive and gesture recognition clothing embedded into say a sleeve or an arm or something and that's really cool. You can interact with your devices. So what do you think? What is the future of fashion and clothing? I'm clearly no fashion expert. This is pretty much all I wear. Uh, send, send me your thoughts at Future. Uh, send a snap or a comment. Let me know.